All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna go over some chords and their properties, all right? So we have these three problems we need to solve for these different values, all right? So in this first one, and also don't make fun of my circles too much here, I'm doing the best I can, they're kind of hard to draw, but it says, um, this first one, we have to find X over here, given that these two chords are congruent. We know that because of these two tick marks. So remember that in a total circle, all the way around, there's 360 degrees. And right now, I just know that this part and this part are 60 and 40, so that adds it up to be 100. I have no idea what this one is, but I do know that that's X. So let's just start maybe by taking 360 and subtracting 60 and 40, like I said, together that's 100. So that leaves me with 260. Now the property of a chord that we have to remember here is that if this chord is congruent to this chord, then both of their arcs are gonna be the same degrees, right? So I could also say this is X. Which if that's true, then since I've already used 60 and 40 or 100 of these degrees, the remaining 260 has to be split evenly between both of these X's. So really the only math that I need to do is 260 divided by two, which of course is 130 degrees. And then for the original X that I was looking for, I can just say X equals 130 degrees, just like that. All right, number two says, let's see, we have another couple of chords that are congruent. This side is 108 degrees for that arc right there. And then for this arc, it's 9x plus 18. Well, similarly, just like we knew that this was x and this was x in this first one, we know that these are also gonna be the same. So I can set those two things equal to each other. And that's gonna be 108 equals 9x plus 18. So if I solve for x here, doing a little bit of algebra, subtract 18 on both sides. 108 minus 18 is 90 equals 9x. And then of course, nine times what is 90? Well, x has to be 10 here, right? x equals 10. All right, last one, number three. This has both x's and y's, so let's solve for the x's first. Um, and I'm seeing that in this circle, this length right here, that's actually a diameter, all right? I mean, that's our longest chord that's possible inside of a circle. And so because this is a diameter, we have that uh, chord property that says this has to be right angles, and also this and this are going to be congruent, right? It bisects that chord um, perpendicularly, okay? So because of that, I can say 2x equals the other one, 3x minus 30, okay? And if I solve for x here, let's see, subtract 3x, this is going to leave me with a negative 1x, so I'm just going to say negative x. Those cancel equals a negative 30. So if negative x equals negative 30, then positive x equals positive 30. And so we are good to go with our x's. Now one more variable, that's the y's. So we also know that if this and this are congruent, right, and that's our diameter, then this arc and this arc are also going to be congruent. So again, I can just set those two things equal to each other and solve. So we're going to have now 10y. The top one equals the bottom 5y plus 90. Now let's see, subtract 5y on both sides. 10y minus 5y is 5y equals 90. And divide by 5, 90 divided by, oops, 5 is 18. So y here would have to be 18 in order to satisfy that circle. All right, guys. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please help me out by liking it down below, subscribing to my channel. All right. And then you might also find this video helpful as you do more circle problems. And we'll see you guys in the next one.